Okay, so we're gonna board our otter up here uh, using homemade boards, of course. Here, uh, these are these are pine here that I planed down. Big board, you know, otter. He's a long creature, so these six foot boards, eight inch wide at the base. Anyway, we get him set here on the board. I can better show you guys. Okay, so we got him set here, uh, set here on the board. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lay him out, see about where he's gonna be. Gonna be a large otter. Then what I'm gonna do is just to clean up a little bit. I'm gonna put a pin there in the tail. I'm just going to dress up tail there a little bit just from the little bit of a little bit of membrane and fat that was left on fleshing. Like I said, it's a lot better just to do it right here. Uh, you know, that way you don't take a chance of, of cutting the tail. Don't take up much time. It looks real nice. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is otters, uh, make sure he's centered up on the board here. Now their feet get pulled to the back. So we'll take here and just kind of square it up a little bit with a pair of scissors, square that foot up. Put a couple pins in his foot. I get pulled around to the back side and what that does is that creates a, a gap there because you'll cut a little window in this otter in the front and then whenever they uh, they grade him, they'll take and they'll fold that tail up. That's kind of a hinge point there. But uh, anyway, we'll take our uh, our other foot here and do the same. Just square them up. Bring them around. To the back side here. We want to make sure everything's good and square, straight across. Presentation's real nice. Just a couple pins there to hold him. Okay, now then, we're going to take, come around to the front side here, and we're just going to take one pin here, and we're just going to put a pin just there, just to anchor this side down. Okay, now then. Now we're going to cut just a little bit of a window here for them. Uh, on a female, I like to go, you know, just a couple inches, just make you a nice little window on a male. You can see here what I've got. I'm going to go about halfway to the uh, penis hole, but I'm going to leave it. So we'll make a, a nice little window here. Come around here, do the same, that also gives us a nice crisp clean clean look here. Okay now then for the arms. You can leave the arms 
uh, that's okay. Or you can sew them because see, an otter, an otter is one of those animals that the majority of his body gets used. It's not like a coon or just the backside or you know. Uh, so we're gonna make it re look real nice. And uh, the way I do it is I sew them. So what I do is I'll take and just kind of clean up around the arms a little bit here. And then I'll cut them off with a pair of scissors. And that gives it a real nice kind of a, a clean edge to start with. I've got a needle here with some dental floss on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to just go in and out and in and out around this foot a little ways. Put the needle in about every half inch or so. All the way around the foot. Go all the way around. Like I said, about every half to three eighths of an inch. Once again, I did not tie off my initial start. And what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with a, a nice closed up hole. your otter and all this is guys this is just strictly presentation this has nothing like I said you can leave them like you would on a coon but you'll see here in just a second how nice it actually looks okay so now we've went all the way around here now I'm just going to simply tie an overhand knot and that draws all that together. Put a couple more knots in there. That draws it off our ends. That draws that whole foot together. And you can see the difference there. And this here, as it dries, it'll dry completely flat. And it'll make a real nice look. So we'll get this other one done here real quick. And then uh, we'll move on. Okay, so we got our... Uh, other leg hole sewed up, looks real nice and clean. We're going to come up here to the lower lip. As with any animal, no need for it. Just cut it off. Okay. Next, we're going to come to the tail here. Now, there's a couple different ways to do the tail. Uh, you can simply take a big piece of mesh, you know, and just put over that, or you can pin it out. Uh, I've done them both ways. They both work. Uh, this one here, I'll go ahead and just pin out, just because, because we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bunch the tail up right here where we made our crease. Kind of fill that, that gap there. And 
put a couple of pins working the way down uh, make sure you keep your tail centered you want to pleat the tail just a little bit while doing this but not so much you know you still want to give the appearance that the the tails there you know nice full tail and at the same time you need to make sure that because the tails tapered that you don't don't run your pins straight so we're just gonna do that with the pins like I said I've done it both ways uh, this way with the pins it does take longer but I still like it a little bit better we're just gonna keep working it down like I said you can see I'm pleating it just a little bit but not much not much still maintain our straight straight look at the tail One thing that the uh, the mesh gives you is you really don't have to worry about about being so straight with the tail because you can just lay it out, you know, and just put your mesh on it, and then it, it's good to go. So anyway, coming down to the end of the tail here. You can see we stayed right there in the center of our board. It looks real nice. Just a couple more pins here. Just to finish them off. And one for the very end. Okay. Now there's a, a finished pinned out tail. You can see it's nice and straight with the board. It's in the center. It looks nice. Um, Otter's nice and loose. These things will dry and they will dry tight. So, you know, we've got him down. Here's my lines right here. We've got him down. We know he's a large. We know he's not going to get to extra large. So, he's nice and loose. They will dry tight. And, you know, you want that fur density. So, anyway, uh, that's our otter. Now, on some of the bigger ones. You might need a, a big belly board, this is a big one here. Uh, we'll take and put our, our belly board in them. So like I said, they will dry tight. So anyway, there's our otter. He's hung up. He looks real nice. We'll, uh, we'll take him and we'll hang him upside down and let him dry. And uh, that'll be that'll be the end of the otters. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, learned something from the otter put up. Like I said, uh, they're really not that hard to put up, but uh, you know you need to do it right. So uh, anyway, all right, guys. So just to uh, kind of finish up here, uh, just been a few days there. Took this otter off the board. Uh, Go ahead and tuck in his tail there. Uh, that's how they want him. You can see that window turned out real nice. You tuck in that tail uh, whenever you ship him. Doesn't hurt anything. You can see that's our little hinge point we made. But uh, that protects that fur. You know, these otters, they'll send real easy uh, with light and everything. So uh, anyway, do that real quick. You can see how nice uh, and flat them armholes look by sewing them up. Of course, uh, got our sight tag on there here in Illinois we got to catch them and then we call it in and they send us a sight tag so got that on there uh, but anyway like I said just take him and just roll his tail up in there and 
stick them up in there. That'll protect everything whenever you're shipping them. And uh, anyway, that's the otter, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, Till next time.